All right, so today we're going to talk about why you do not include veggie carbs on keto. Now, there's mixed viewpoints on this. Some people do, some people don't. Um, I don't recommend including your vegetable carbohydrates in the formula for the carbs, and I'm going to tell you why. So let's take, for example, one cup of salad, okay? Usually going to do leafy greens in a salad. On average, one cup of leafy greens is 1.5 grams of carbohydrate, okay? Now, if we minus the fiber, which is one gram, we get 0.5 grams of net carbs, okay? So we're dealing with a half of a gram. Now, I do recommend seven to 10 cups of salad or vegetables per day. That would equal 3.5 to five grams of carbs, extremely low. You're allowed 20 grams to 50 grams, okay? And your huge salad that provides a lot of benefit is only gonna count for 3.5 to five grams, just a very small amount. So the overall calories and grams of carbohydrates in the salad that you eat are just such a small amount. It's almost insignificant. The glycemic index for a green salad is very small, it's 15. The glycemic load which is basically the amount of carbohydrate minus the uh, fiber is three. That's extremely low too, because less than 10 is low, 10 to 20 is moderate, and greater than 20 is high. So it's low on the glycemic index, it's low on the glycemic load, it has a significant amount of fiber, which actually causes the overall carbs to be less, so we're dealing with 0.5 grams. Now let's talk about some key benefits of vegetables and leafy greens into this keto plan. Well, number one, they provide the nutrients, the main nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals. It's very difficult to get all of your nutrients just from meat, so we wanna add uh, the vegetable family, okay? It provides the phytonutrients. That's all the additional um, nutrients like um, carotenoids or beta carotene that add additional help to the body and antioxidants, very important. It also provides the fiber, the right type of fiber that is soluble and some insoluble, but mainly soluble, to feed your microbes, which then allow the microbes to exchange back the beneficial fatty acids like butyric acid, which then feeds the colon cells. So you're able to feed the colon cells with the fiber. Without the fiber, you don't feed the colon cells, okay? I don't know what else they were, they're gonna eat. And butyric acid helps improve insulin resistance and it will actually help indirectly lower insulin, which is incredible. The vegetables will also, um, because they're alkaline, will buffer the acidic pH from the meat that you consume, which is another benefit. And lastly, it'll help the fat travel out of your body. If you're consuming uh, just fat and meat without the vegetables, okay, uh, and you're mobilizing all this fat from the fat cells and it's going through the liver without the vegetables, there is a chance that some of the fat that can actually, that's coming out can get stuck in the liver. So the vegetables do help in the elimination from fat through the liver, out through the gallbladder, and through the colon. So we don't wanna put a restriction on vegetables because they're a carbohydrate. So instead we wanna put a requirement that you need to do vegetables seven to 10 cups, and that way it can make keto healthy, thus the healthy ketosis. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I wanna introduce you to my new Dr. Berg app. It's right here. It's, I'm really excited about it. You need to download it, it's free. It has a lot of great data. It has all my videos, it's updated on a regular basis. I also have the audio version of the videos, audio episodes. I also have a mini course that you can take. I also have a button for new content so you can really know of all the, the recent content that I'm downloading. And I also have something called PDF resources, which gives you additional cool little one page uh, PDF documents on all sorts of health things. So download it, check it out and tell me what you think about it. And don't forget to give me a review. It's Dr. Berg app.